Well, hey everybody, welcome back to LJM Farms, I'm Jess. And today's video was all about the Kawasaki Mill Pro. We purchased this back in the beginning of 2022, just coming out of COVID. Kind of had to get what we could get. We were next on the list, this came up, so we got it. Now it very quickly became a vital part of the operation here on the ranch and the farm. And at, at this point in time, I could not live without it. It was by far one of the best purchases we've made. Very useful. Like I said, I use this thing almost every day, if not every day. Now, we're not out riding trails with this thing every weekend, but using this thing almost every day, and our land here being anything but flat, it became evident very quickly that what this thing was lacking was some good ground clearance. So that put me on the hunt for a lift kit, and I came upon the Rough Country website, saying that they had one that was priced very reasonable. Seemed like a very simple, quick install. So I went ahead and bought that. I've had it for a couple of months now, and I can't wait to get this thing installed, so let's get with it. Okay, so here is the stuff that comes in the box. So you have the rear brackets and the front brackets. And how you know the difference is the front brackets are identical to each other. So these two are pretty much identical. You can put them on top of each other and all the holes would match up. The two back brackets are the different ones. Now this one, the one that has the RC symbol, the, the logo, that's the one that'll go closer towards your tailgate. That way if you look underneath uh, from the back of the tailgate, you'll see this RC symbol. And this'll go on the opposite side of that. Now here are the bolts, uh, bolts and nuts. You have flat washers that go on each side. And you also have spacer bushings that go in between the strut supports uh, where you're taking that strut out, that strut eye. These go in the place of that strut eye. All right, I thought I'd get a measurement here first just to see where I'm at on the stock setting. So you can see we were at about 12 and a quarter inches. Hopefully you can see that. If not, just trust me, it's 12 and a quarter inches. And let's get this thing installed and we'll see where we're at when we're done. Now a couple of tools you're gonna need for the lift kit install. It's a 17 millimeter socket and wrench and an 18 millimeter socket and wrench. But it just so happens that these lug nuts on these wheels are also 17 millimeter. All right, now that the wheels are off, the next thing we need to do is to take off the bolts, loosen the bolts and take them out at the top of each strut on each side of the mule. These are the 17 millimeter and the bolts that come with, the bolts and nuts that come with the uh, Rough Country lift kit are 18 millimeter. Now, I actually found it easier to use a breaker bar to get it broke loose.
Well, okay, I've actually made a little bit of a, of a mistake here and I wanted to show you guys ahead of time just so you don't make the same mistake. But So what I did is I put the brackets, the front. these are the front brackets. So I put these on each side of that strut support. And I noticed that this bushing actually had some space in it. And I, I was thinking, man, that don't seem right. So I stopped and uh, looked at the directions again. And in fact, this is what I'm going to call this back bracket. It doesn't go on the outside of that support, it goes on the inside. And that will then take up the space of this bushing. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to change this, uh, the back bracket to the inside of the support. And then we'll carry on from there. All right, crisis averted. So this looks much better. Probably can't tell the struts in the way. But all my spacing. It's taken up by that bushing now. All right guys, I got the uh, brackets mounted and the strut back, put back in the bracket. And I want to go over a few tips uh, before I move on to the rear, or right, just to show you a few things. Hopefully you can see here, the way you want to orient these brackets is, I don't know if you can tell here, but this angle is pointing down. You, know, you could flip these upside down, it still might work. Uh, Actually, no, I don't think. I think you can only put these on one way because I think you'll be hitting this frame right here if you do it the opposite way. But, you know, if you're having trouble putting it on, you keep hitting this frame right here, flip them upside down, which actually would be right side up. And so you can see this angle is pointing down and that is allowing it to clear uh, the frame of this mule here. The other thing is, don't tighten these bolts up uh, just yet. Snug them up. Um, and, ju and just keep them there until you get these struts in because if you tighten them up you, you may not be able to get this strut eye in between there to get that bolt to get that bolt started so just leave those loose on both sides get your strut in there and then you come back and tighten both sides up
All right, it's done. Uh, not really, not too bad of a uh, little job there. Now, where were we at before this? Uh, Twelve and a quarter. Now we're right at sixteen. So yeah, just a little over three inches. About three and three quarters, somewhere around there. You know, it's a lot taller than what I imagined it would be. I did, really didn't realize it was going to be quite this drastic of a difference, but I think it'll work out great. Only thing is, now I'm thinking I may need uh, some bigger tires. All right, guys, I've had the lift kit on here for uh, a little less than a week now, and uh, totally worth it. I've used the lift kit so much already, it's made such a huge difference. There are a few concerns that I have, and uh, that's what I wanted to stop and talk to you about right now. One is, it definitely made the suspension a lot stiffer. It's not as smooth riding as it was. Now these shocks are adjustable, and there's actually like one notch left that I could adjust these that I think would uh, loosen the, the suspension, make it a little bit softer. Um, not, not a lot of adjustment left though, so you know, it's just probably going to be something you have to live with in order to have uh, the lift on there. It did lift it up quite a bit more than I thought it was going to, but it's it's been worth it because, like I said, the short time I've had it on here, it's made a huge difference in not dragging and not high centering over stuff, not dragging the, uh, the trailer hitch ball in the back when I go down a little dips, just things like that I've noticed. So definitely worth having the lift kit. Uh, definitely glad I put it on there. But it is a little bit more rougher riding. And the other thing is, <clears throat> since I know that it changed the geometry of the suspension, my other concern is, is it going to have a detrimental effect on my CV joints? I have uh, a buddy that has a lift kill on his, and he says that it has caused some, he thinks has caused some issues uh, with his CV joints, and he has to replace them a lot more than what he thinks he should have so i guess we'll see how it does if uh if these cv joints don't last hardly any time at all this only has 200 hours on it so if i feel like you know it's it's detrimental to the cv joints and it's knocking them out way too quick then i'll just pull it back off or you know i may look at another kit that's maybe a, a little bit less of a lift but i definitely definitely like having a lift on here um could use some bigger tires. It kind of looks like a jacked up go-kart now, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's on the farm and the ranch. You know, I didn't, don't really care if it looks pretty. I just want it to be functional and not high center and drag on every little trail or pasture I ride in, you know. So yeah, like I said, other than the few things I mentioned there, uh, pretty happy with the kit, uh, really easy to install. But yeah, lift kit versus no lift kit, definitely lift kit. Anyhow, that's it for this one. Uh, just wanted to bring that to you if you're looking at this kit. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, click that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.